Hello again, YouTube. Um, I'm hoping I don't have to keep stopping because my dog's being a little psychotic right now. Um, and she's making a lot of noise. So if you hear that in the background, that's what that is. Hopefully it doesn't get too bad. Or else I'll have to stop. Okay, anyway. February favorites. Um, it's that time. February is a short month. I feel like I just filmed January favorites. Um, and I said in January I was going to try to just do 11 favorites every month this year. Um, again, I picked 11 things. It was very, very easy. Um, I knew exactly... <laughs> not good I knew exactly what I'd been using like a ton of um this month so yeah it was pretty easy all makeup as usual that's just me and um let's just get started I'm just okay so first I'm gonna start with face products um because face products are what I have the most of um the first is a foundation this is the foundation I've been using I think most of the month of February I showed this in a haul um I love it um, kind of bought it on a whim because I needed a new foundation. I just wanted to try something different, and it's the Maybelline Dream Liquid Mousse. It just looks like this. It's a glass bottle with a pump. Um, I've been really, really happy with it. The coverage is um, not as heavy as the Photo Ready, which I was using and loving. It's a little bit lighter coverage, but it's still full coverage. Um, it blends in amazingly. The, the texture is that of a liquid mousse. It's just, it's really, really, really nice, and I highly recommend it. Um, the next is the Revlon Photo Ready Powder, um, which I also kind of bought during a giant makeup shopping spree, but um, I needed a new powder, and I really am happy with this. As you can see, there's already a dent in it. Um, it does have a slight shimmer to it, which you can see kind of in certain lights, but it's not glitter, so when you go into the sunlight, you don't look like a ball of glitter. Um, it's just really, really nice. It doesn't have a ton of coverage. But you can see it does have color to it. It just kind of boosts the coverage of my foundation. It sets it really nice. You can see it. I don't know if you can even see that. But it, it blends in really, really nice. Like I could probably just use my fingers in a pinch. It's really nice. I highly recommend this. The only complaint is I think the package is a little bit big. Like it's long. As I said that really weird. It's really, really long. It's hard to open. Like I think they could cut out this whole bottom section and just have it be like a little square. It's just too big. And the mirror is like weird. But whatever. Um, really good. The next is a bronzer. This is the Laura Geller Bronze and Bright and Regular. I really have been liking this lately. I got this um, around Christmas time and didn't really use it that much because I do have a ton of bronzers that I try to get through. Um, but this is really nice. You can There's veining of dark brown, light brown, kind of gold and pink. I don't know if you can see all that in there. Um, I will swatch it. It's a really just nice bronzer. My friend. Always, I'm sorry. Always, always, always goes off when I'm doing videos. <coughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Exit, volume, off. There we go. Okay, um, this is what the bronzer looks like. Just a really nice brown. That's what it looks like. It's very pigmented. Um, it's not orange at all. It blends really nicely. And you can wear it light or you can wear it dark. There's a kind of blended in. But this is really, really, really nice. Okay, the next is also, um, I'll start with another bronzer. This is the e.l.f. Um, Contouring Blush and Bronzer Duo. The bronzer in here, although it does have shimmer in it, and I don't usually go for shimmery bronzers, I have been loving this and using it a ton um, since I got it. I just, for some reason, I just like the color. I like the color of it. It's just like a dark chocolate brown, and I really, really have been liking it. You can see the difference in color. Um, between the Laura Geller one and this one. It's very, very, very dark. And it's very, very brown. I mean, it's really brown, so it's like a hardcore bronzer. Um, but I really like it. And the blush in here as well, this is also a favorite. This whole palette is a favorite. This blush is just gorgeous. It's just a peachy pink with gold shimmer. It's on my, this finger. I mean, the color is, it doesn't do it. I'm not doing it any justice. It's so pretty. Can you, you can't even really see it. It looks so light. Um... That's kind of a better, it's very nice and pigmented, and it blends in beautifully. I'm wearing it today. I, I wear it all the time. Like, I wear it all the time, and I love it. I just really like it. Last face product is the Physician's Formula Shimmer Strips Custom Blush and Highlighter and Healthy Glow, which is just all shades of pink, except this one here is a white. Um, it's extremely shimmery. It is a highlighter um, or a blush. When you mix them all together, it's kind of a blush color right there just a pretty rose and then when you just use the lighter colors it's a really light pink highlight which is what I usually use it for and that's that right there it's just beautiful and shimmery and I love it 
Okay. Um, next I will do eye products. Um, this is my most recent makeup purchase and it is the Maybelline Expert Wear Eyeshadow Trio um, in Impeccable Grays. Looks like this. And it's just the perfect gray palette. Like for a nice smoky eye. Um, I wore this out the other night. It's just the perfect colors. And they are labeled. Um, which is kind of the thing now. This one says lid. This one says crease. This one says um, brow bone. I will show you them all. This is the lid color. Which is just uh, silver. Okay, we got to pause for TJ. Okay, let's try this again with a lack of barking. We'll see. Um, the second color, the crease color, is just a really dark um, kind of slate gray. Really pretty. Um, just really, really pretty. I love these kind of colors. And they're both really pigmented. And then the last is just kind of a shimmery white. The brow bone color. You can see that there on the end. This is really, really nice. It's just a perfect neutral look. I really like gray eyeshadows and silvers, so that's good for me. Um, oh, Chi Chi, why are you doing this to me? Why? Um, you can see I have, there's a definite theme in the colors I like. This is my next favorite. It's the Rimmel Trio in um, Dark Angel. This is a beautiful palette. Like, I love this. And again, the colors are not picking up as nice as they really are. Um, this is, they're all really, really sparkly though. This is a, um, silver. This is a beautiful plum color and then a really dark sparkly gray. Um, these are just gorgeous. This is the silver. I guess I'll swatch some over here. Looks like that. My hand, it's really pretty. The purple is gorgeous, like just gorgeous. And it has a purple shimmer in it. And then last, this gray color is so pretty and it's got so much sparkle. I just, I love it. I love these kind of shades. There they are, and they're all really sparkly. This is just a really nice trio. Um, next is an oldie, but a goodie. Um, this is my Revlon Skin Lights Color Lighting in Mocha, which is just a cream product. Um, I use it as an eyeshadow base, but it could be a cream blush or whatever, but this is kind of a dark color for that. Um, this is, they don't make this anymore, but it's really nice, and it's just super creamy. It just looks like that. You can wear it by itself. It's like a frosted coffee color. Um, it looks like that on my hand. It's just really, really creamy, and it's a wonderful eyeshadow base, and it really makes colors pop on top of it, so I love that. And then lastly for the eyes is this eyeliner that I rarely use, um, and it's a Stila smudge stick in the color Lionfish. It's so pretty, but I just don't use it. Um, looks, yeah, like you can see, I'll just swatch it. Um, it's, like a, it's like a dark brown with tons of bronze shimmer in it. I don't know if you can really see that. Um, try to blend it out a little bit. It's just really, really pretty. This is pretty all over the lid, just kind of blended in, and um, it really won't crease or budge because it, these are really, really good eyeliners. And I, I never use this, but I wore it yesterday, and I was like, "Well, I love this." So that's just really, really good eyeliner. And then the last two things are lip products. Um, again, everything has a theme, and this month has been purple, purple tinted lips. I'm wearing both of these products right now. This is the um. Rimmel Moisture Renew Lipstick in Crystal Mauve. This is beautiful. This is just a beautiful lipstick. It's definitely got a pink tone to it, but it's it's purple. It's It really is very, very purple. Um, I'm running out of room. I'll swatch that for you right over here. You can see it's a beautiful color. And I am wearing that today. And then the last, and these Rimmel lipsticks are, are wonderful consistency. And then the last thing, I've heard a lot about this, but I just recently got this. This is the um, Revlon Lip Gloss in Lilac Pastel, which just looks like purple lip gloss. Now, it is on the sheer side, but um, it definitely has, like, you can definitely see it. Like, it's not so sheer that it's invisible. You can see it definitely has a purple tone to it. And then mixed together... It kind of creates, hold on, let me see if I can do this properly. You can see, hold on. Right down here, it just kind of creates the perfect mix of the, the dark and the light and the pink and the purple. It's really pretty. My lighting's so weird, I don't know what you can ever see or what color anything ever looks. Um, like, for instance, my eyeshadows are green today. I don't know if they look green at all on camera. I think they look yellow, but they're not. So this might not look purple, but it is. Um, and that's it. That's my February favorites. Um, that's about it. 
Um, February flew by, just like every other month flies by. It's almost March. I think March 1st is on Tuesday. Um, so pretty soon we'll be doing another one of these for March. But um, yeah, hope everyone had a fantastic February. Let me know what you loved, what you hated. I should do that. Maybe maybe next, maybe next tomorrow or in the next few days I'll do um, products I hated in February. We'll see. But that's about it. So peace out.